fine until I shut it off. No big deal, but had to had to shut the left three down there. I don't know what its problem is, but it um, it got to the point there. Uh, I was revving it up by the the right hand side three, and then it stopped working. Just kind of started dogging, and uh, that's when I knew she was going to stop. So I come over and hit the hit the three switches there off. These other three, you just ground them out on the metal there and kills all six of them. But so far, I haven't actually had to actually do that. But um, well, at least I, you know, got some short runs out of the six there. That was good. Been a lot of work so far. Had a bit of success, at least. That seems to be about the best I get out of it. bad run. Smoothed out when she revved up. Well I had some uh, short runs out of the uh, flat six there. Uh, overcame my starter problems with ganging two batteries together and 50 amp boost on a charger. Apparently that was the problem not getting enough amps to the starter. But you see it here. Got your six mufflers coming up and carburetor on each side. And uh, new addition is this uh, flywheel that I just uh, put on today. So my intention is to hook up a, uh, I'm going to try a 110 volt uh, Tecumseh starter. Mount it, mount it down here. So that'll, that'll make life a little easier. I won't have such a gang of equipment there to get her to crank over. Hopefully it's got the fruit punch. I got a second one if it doesn't. I'll just mount two of them. So... Of course, I'll have extension cords running everywhere, but anyway, there it is. The dual starter covers in McLaren Papaya Orange. <laughs> 